Adventure Diaries Season 2 is launching in two weeks' time. And in the run-up to that launch, I'm recapping each of the closing traditions, Pay It Forward and Call to Adventures, from each of those 15 episodes. Episode 5 with Sean Conway. For the Call to Adventure, that's where we ask guests for a a recommendation for an activity, an adventure, a trip a place, something to do to get people away from the screen to connect with each other, with nature or or just get outdoors so what would you recommend? I'm a big fan of multi-day stuff and I think everyone needs to plan a week long challenge in their life mm. whether it's running, walking, cycling just choose something that takes about a week and you're self-supported if you I think that would be what I would suggest. And go and do it, whether it's hiking the West Highland Way, which, you know, that's a bit shorter than a week, to be fair. Or cycling lands in John O'Groats, you could do that in a week. Just, I don't know, just plan something that takes longer than a day and take some holiday off. And I think you'll really discover a lot about yourself. And I think that will pay dividends across all aspects of your life, you know. Not just doing a marathon, you know, do something that takes... A multi-day thing. I'm a big fan of that. So, yeah, go and do something that takes a week long, everyone. Yeah, here, yeah. yep, yeah. excellent. And then finally, pay it forward. So, just it's more about raising awareness for anything, whether it's a charity, a good cause, or something that may be dear to your heart or important. So, what would you say for a pay it forward suggestion? Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, I'm really passionate about youth sport, so. You know, if you know kids, your kids, other people's kids, you know, try and encourage them to get into sport. You know, in North Wales, or it might be Wales in in general, only 39% of kids do sport outside of school. You know, that that should be 70%. It really should should be 100%, but of course, that's unrealistic. But, you know, we need to be trying to encourage and give kids the op- opportunities and the mentorship to be able to, to do sport outside of school regularly. So, yeah, uh, I'm raising money for the True Venture Foundation, which is North Wales based. So if you're outside of North Wales, it doesn't really affect you or your or kids you might know. But that doesn't matter. Just get out there and you know try and encourage your cousins and your nieces and your nephews to do some sports somehow, whether it's hiking, swimming, cycling, running, you know, there's a million clubs out there there's, that they could join. And yeah, just really passionate about trying to get kids into sports. So yeah, if anyone's listening, please, any kids, you know, friends, neighbors, relatives, your own kids, please just, it's so important. You get kids active and into sport. It just, it'll change the world if more, if all more kids did sport. I was lucky I did sport, but I stopped sport after school as well. So I'm sort of part of that casualty of that scenario. As soon as I lost all my facilities at school, I just didn't do it. And I had no one to mentor, or guide me or inspire me to carry on doing sport in my 20s. That's why I did nothing. And yeah, so that, that'd be my pay it forward example. Excellent. Thank you, Sean. Now, before you go, if you want to come on an Adventure Diaries mini expedition adventure or attend one of the upcoming events, then please visit adventurediaries.com slash go and get on the list. These events will be limited in numbers and not widely advertised, so don't miss out on this opportunity to come along on an adventure and connect with a select few. So please visit adventurediaries.com slash go and I'll see some of you on the inside. Thank you.